We are the UVM Senior Design Group working on the preservation and rehabilitation of the General George Standard House. We are Ryan Bailey, Nora Varhew, Tim Saylor, Zachary Ferguson, and Jack Dugdale. General George Standard was born in Georgia, Vermont in 1820 and played a critical role in the Battle of Gettysburg. His Corps Commander, Major General Abner Doubleday, wrote, I can only say that they performed perhaps the most brilliant feat during the war, for they broke the desperate charge of Pickett, saved the day, and with it, the whole North from invasion and devastation. Following the war in 1866, Standard purchased a house in Milton, Vermont. This house is currently located off Route 7 and adjacent to the Gardner Supply Warehouse. Standard sold the house in 1873, and after a series of different owners, it was abandoned in 1989. After 25 years of neglect, the house is in poor condition and in danger of collapse. Due to roof failure, water has infiltrated the building envelope and caused a significant amount of damage, likely compromising the structural integrity of the interior frame. Unfortunately, the exact state of much of the structure is currently unknown because it is unavailable for inspection. Given the current conditions and the objectives of the Milton Historical Society, we have outlined the goals of this project as 1. Stabilizing the structure of the General Standard House 2. Preserving the historic elements of the site while incorporating ADA requirements 3. Designing a site that addresses drainage issues and includes a parking lot and 4. Designing an adequate wastewater system we started the project process by conducting a site visit where we measured the dimensions of the house and created a floor plan. Through visual inspection and the use of a resistance drill, we were able to approximate the conditions of the house and its state of deterioration. Based on this information, we came up with three alternatives. Alternative one would be to do nothing. This option does not reflect the goals of our community partner and would ultimately result in the collapse of the structure and destroy the last physical remnant of general standard in Vermont. Alternative two is restoration of the home. This option would result in the greatest degree of historical preservation. Although this alternative would be ideal for the community partner, it would also be both a time-consuming and expensive project. Alternative three would be to build a replica in place of the existing structure. This replica would be in the style of the original while meeting modern building codes. For this site, the goal is to provide parking in an ADA accessible museum. Doorways inside the house must be widened to 32 inches and a ramp must be built leading to the front entrance. Every site plan includes a parking lot and an ADA accessible spot adjacent to the ramp. We came up with four design alternatives to balance the preferences of E-Trans and the owner of the adjoining property. Alternative one would be to use the existing curb cut. Alternative two would offset the driveway 230 feet from the Gardner Supply Warehouse entrance. Alternative three would provide an entrance off of the Gardner Supply driveway. And alternative four would be to share the existing Gardner Supply parking lot with the addition of an ADA accessible path leading to the ramp. For the wastewater, the goal is to update the site to provide a bathroom with water disposal to accommodate 1,000 to 1,500 visitors per year. To accomplish this, we have designed a 1,000 gallon septic tank with a two trench, 588 square feet leach field. Considering the goals of the project and a cost analysis, we determined that the best option would be to share the parking with Gardner Supply and perform a hybrid restoration in which we keep as much of the original structure as possible while replacing the deteriorating members with modern materials. Although the hybrid restoration would not be the cheapest option, it would be cheaper than constructing a replica and would most greatly preserve the historical significance of the General Standards House. With the hope of sharing this history with future generations, the mission of the General Standard House Committee is to stabilize, preserve, and honor the Civil War General's House. Our recommendation would help provide an accessible historical site to inform visitors about General Standard and sustain an important part of Vermont's history. We would like to extend a special thank you to our community partners for their support and enthusiasm throughout the project process, including Bill Cagle, Terry Richards, and other members of the Millen Historical Society. We would also like to thank Doug Porter for taking time to share his expertise regarding historical preservation and resistance drilling and our STEM senior design professors, Dr. Mandar DeWulkar and Dr. Andrea Pierce.